Welcome to Press View. Let's start by taking a look at today's front pages in the Middle East. In the UAE, the Khalish Times reports that Israeli warplanes pounded Gaza on Wednesday as furious mourners buried the wife and a child of Hamas's top military commander, baying for revenge as eight days of calm exploded onto bloodshed. The paper also reports that His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan gave the nod to the country's first and toughest anti-terror law that will come into force with immediate effect. The Egypt Independent is reporting that Hamas has said an Israeli airstrike killed three senior Hamas military commanders in the Gaza Strip. The clearest sign yet Israel is focusing on its assault on those leading attacks from the Palestinian enclave. The paper also reports that Cairo Criminal Court has postponed the trial of political activist Ahmed Douma and 268 other defendants, including 16 detained and 9 fugitives, to 3rd of September. From Beirut, the Daily Star reports that the Union Coordination Committee vowed to continue its fight for the new salary scale, despite signs of weakening resolve among civil servants, with low participation in the general strike and protest. The paper also reports that the Azzedine al Qassam Brigades, the armed wing of Palestinian resistance faction Hamas, has fired a homemade rocket at Israel's Ben Gurion airport. From Saudi Arabia, the Arab News reports that Saudi authorities are getting ready to launch a massive campaign next month against more than 17,000 fans that are in the red zone of the Nitaqat nationalization scheme for not employing a single Saudi. The paper also reports that Arab League chief Nabil al Arabi has accused Israel of blocking all attempts to end the Gaza conflict a day after the collapse of a ceasefire in the Palestinian territory. And now the papers in the UK. The Independent Leads Middle East News reporting that unconfirmed reports circulating on Twitter state the Islamic State spokesperson featured heavily in a recent Vice News documentary has been killed by the Syrian army. The paper adds that news of Abu Musa's death broke earlier this morning. However, there has been no confirmation of the spokesperson's demise. The Guardian leads Middle East News reporting that three of Hamas's most senior military commanders have been killed in pre-dawn airstrikes on Rafah in the south of the Gaza Strip. The paper says the loss of the military commanders is a serious blow to the organization. And also from the UK, the Telegraph leads Middle East News reporting that the chief executive officer of a Boston-based media company that journalist James Foley was freelancing for when he went missing in Syria says his kidnappers threatened last week to kill Foley in response to US bombings in Iraq. The paper says Global Post executive Philippe Balboni told reporters Wednesday that the threatening email sent to his family a week earlier was full of rage but made no demands. And now let's take a look at top Mideast news in international papers. From China, the Global Times reports that Yemeni President Abdurrabbu Mansour Hadi said he would reform the cabinet to include members of the Shiite Houthi rebels after the military group threatened to overthrow the government. The paper says the president said that a committee comprised of representatives of all political parties will be sent to the northern province of Sada, the stronghold of the Houthi rebels, to meet a Houthi leader. And from Berlin, the Germ Germany's Deutsche Welle reports that the UN Security Council urged Israel and the Palestinians to return to the negotiating table, expressing grave concern at the return of hostilities. The paper, however, adds that Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said Israel's military campaign in Gaza could turn into an extended operation and would go as long as Israeli officials felt necessary. That was it for today. For more updates, visit our website, levant.tv. Thanks for watching and bye for now.